Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be reviewing Putrid Piles Collection of Butchery. So yeah, uh, background we are listening to in Coffinized Chambers of Deprivation. <coughs> I recently got this. I'll talk about it more in my next collection update, but one of my favorite albums of this year. Great fucking uh, old school style death metal, but without being too generic, with a little bit of brutal death metal in there. Really awesome shit. Anyways, <coughs> sorry if I cough a lot. If you saw my last video, you know I had surgery in my lung and uh, her lungs, and I've had a cough because of that recently because I'm still getting fluid out. But anyways, I might run short of breath a little bit, but I'll try my best. Cause I, it's been so long since I made a regular talking video that isn't like that's just about music basically. And I thought I'd review this album because I've been jamming this a lot lately. So Future Pile's first album. I actually this is actually a first press on CD. This was a this is a birthday present for my girlfriend back a few months ago. And um, I'm very grateful for this because this is an awesome fucking album and it's really cool to have a first press. So anyways, um, there's the album cover. It is kind of shit because it's like this really weird fucking like bad CG high. This came out in like what, 2000 I think? Uh, I know this came out around either the late 90s or early 2000s, probably early 2000s. Um, it's their typical, you know, brutal death metal album cover with a dead chick. There's the track listing and the spine. Uh, other spine side looks kind of the same. You got Drenched in Gasoline, Gallery of Horror, Bodies on Display, Collection of Butchery, <coughs> Remnants of Insanity, Covered in Excrement, Bleed for Me, Severed Head Memento, Held Captive for Torture, <coughs> Dead in the Alleyway, Merciless Homicide, and Shit Body Painting. So this was put out through United Guttural and Crash Music. United Guttural, a really cool old rural death metal label from like the 90s. They're defunct now, but there's uh, the disc behind it. You just got a close up of the chick from the album cover. And there's uh, Sean, obviously the mastermind behind Future Pile. If you don't know Future Pile, it's a one man. And uh, obviously, like I already said, rural death metal kind of. <coughs> It has some, it's kind of slammy, but if you don't like slam, this is still worth checking out. Because it's not like, um, this isn't like slam as in like newer slam or whatever. Um, or 2000s style slam. This is more of a old school type of sound, I guess. Um, I don't know. If you like shit like, you know, like Cannibal Corpse and TSI, there's no reason you shouldn't like this. Besides the lyrics being a little stupid at times. Stupid in a good way, like over the top cheesy gore, like I mean I already named the song titles, like shit body painting, like stuff like that, but like instrumentally it's like <coughs> um I don't know, Future Power reminds me of like Deicide. <coughs> Kinda like a brutal death metal version of Deicide. Um, especially in the early stuff. It's pretty there's some slams in there here and there. I think it came to like early dying fetus, I guess, but not as technical. Um Anyways, um, the second you start this album, <coughs> it opens up with Drenched in Gasoline, which is probably, arguably the most popular and probably the best Future Pile song. Um, it's just a perfect song, really, really catchy. Uh, all his songs are usually pretty simple. Um, you know, tremolo, tremolo picked riffs and also really groovy, kind of slammy riffs. They don't sound like traditional slams, most of them, but they're like, you know, those chunky, chuggy riffs. Uh, his vocals are, I can't tell if they're inhales or exhales. I'm pretty sure they're probably exhales though, at least for the highs. The lows sound really just like, they aren't the lowest vocals ever, but they're not the most throaty sounding like growls. Um, they might be exhales or really hard sounding inhales, but they're probably exhale. Um, I don't care either way, they sound fucking sick. I'm not one of those people who flips out over vocals being inhales or exhales unless you sound like you know like fucking waking the cadaver then that's when i get a little picky about inhales but anyways um yeah dressing gasoline is a fucking fun song uh gallery of horrors is my favorite song on the album there's just a great fucking catchy fun um like nasty and brutal sounding and like really gritty sounding but also fun riffs um the production on this album is clean, but old school sounding. It doesn't sound like, like, you know, like pol over polished and shiny, but it sounds kind of, it obviously sounds digital because it's programmed drums. 
Which the drums sound really fake. I mean, the snare sounds like a kick, and the kicks sound like even lower kicks, and the cymbals are like really backgroundy. Um, you mostly will hear snare on here and kicks, um, but it's not like super raw or anything. Um, bass is pretty much inaudible. I don't even know if there is a bass on here. Guitar work. Um, I love the guitar tone of the sound. This has the best guitar tone on any Petri Pile album, and his vocals are pretty great on here. But anyways, um, like Gallery of Wars is like a great track. It actually samples Star Wars, um, Attack of the Clones, so that's funny. Uh, Bodies on Display is a really catchy song. Uh, similar to the title track collection of Betree, which is another of my favorites on here. Um, sorry, that was the other phone ringing because it was charging. I'm waiting for it to turn on. Um, so it's going to practice some guitar. And the, uh, my phone, since it's an iPhone, doesn't hook up to the stereo. I don't know why I'm going into so much detail explaining that. <clears throat> With the iPhone adapter port. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Um, after the fourth track, the rest of the songs aren't quite as great, in my opinion. But they're still, like, the first four songs aren't the best songs on here, by far. And the rest of the album is still awesome. But it's not quite as, like, memorable. But it's, like, the whole album is still really great, though. Um, it's not like they're, like, filler tracks or anything. They just aren't as, like, classic. But there's still some great shit, though. Like, um... Severed Head Memento. Um, Dead in the Alleyway is another really cool one. Uh, Shit by Painting has like this weird like sexual sample at the beginning of it. Um, <clears throat> the best way I could describe this album is like really grindy and fun brutal death metal, like old school style brutal death metal. But <coughs> it doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, like, it is over the top, like, Brutal Death Metal is, but it's not, like, and it's not super cheesy at the same time. Like, it takes itself seriously enough, but it's very fun. Like, the sound is gritty and dark and violent sounding, but it's also very fun to listen to, mostly because of how digital it sounds. Let me turn over the record. Because, obviously, because it's, like, programmed drums and shit, it sounds very, like, it was made on a, you know, on a computer and not, like, traditional studio equipment. Um... Like, it sounds like an online project, but not in an unprofessional way at all, though. This album still sounds very professional. It's just very, um, very fun. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but yeah, if you like Brutal Death Metal, you should probably already know Putrid Pile, because he's one of the biggest names in Brutal Death Metal. Um, this is my favorite album for Putrid Pile. I also really love the second album, but this one really does it for me. Um, what was I going to say? If you're new to Brutal Death Metal, or like you're not <coughs> super into the genre or anything, this is actually worth checking out. It's not really that, like, I don't know what the right word is. It's not the least accessible thing. It's actually fairly accessible for, if you're already into regular death metal, this isn't too much of a stretch. It's just, it's more of a thematic theme. Um, and the riffs are kind of slammy, but again, this isn't like, this doesn't have any super weird vocals or anything. Yeah, this is just an awesome old school brutal death metal. <coughs> I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10. It's not a perfect album, but it's just a really fun, simple half hour brutal death metal album. Really grindy, but also kind of slammy at times. So, yeah, that's it for this review. <coughs> Future Pile of Collection of Butchery. Classic album, 8 out of 10. <coughs> 8 out of 10, I mean. So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.